from our studios in the heart of Silicon Valley, Palo Alto, California. This is a CUBE Conversation. Hi, and welcome to the CUBE Studios for another CUBE Conversation, where we go in depth with thought leaders driving innovation across the tech industry. I'm your host, Peter Burris. Everybody's talking about the cloud and what the cloud might be able to do for their business. The challenge is there are a limited number of people in the world who really understands what it means to build for the cloud, utilizing the cloud. There's a lot of approximations out there, but not a lot of folks are deeply involved in actually doing it right. We've got one here with us today. Woon Jung is the CTO and co-founder of Clumio. Woon, welcome to theCUBE. Happy to be here. So let's start with this issue of what it means to build for the cloud. Now, mm -hmm. Clumio's made the decision to have everything fit into that as a service model. Mm -hmm. What does that practically mean? So from the engineering point of view, building a SaaS application is fundamentally different. So the way that I'll go and say it is that at Clumio, we actually don't build software and ship software. What we actually do is build so uh, service and service is what we actually ship to our customers. Uh, let me give you an example. In the case of Clumio, let's say backups fail. Like software sometimes fails and we get that failures too. The difference in between Clumio and traditional solutions is that if something were to fail, we are the one detecting that failure before our customers do. Not only that, when something fails, we actually know exactly why it failed. Therefore, we can actually troubleshoot it and we can actually fix it and upgrade the service without the customer intervention. So it's not about the bugs also or about the troubleshooting aspects, but it's also about new features. If you were to introduce a new features, we can actually do this without having customers upgraded because we will actually do it ourselves. So essentially it frees the customers from actually doing all these actions because we will do them on behalf of them. At scale. At and scale. I think that's the second thing I want to talk about quickly is that the ability to use the cloud to do many of the things that you're talking about at scale creates incredible ranges of options that customers have at their disposal. So for example, AWS customers have historically used things like snapshots to provide a modicum of data protection to their AWS workloads. But there are other new options that could be applied if the systems are built to supply them. Give us a sense of how Clumio is looking at this question of you know, snapshots versus something else. Yeah, so basically traditionally, even on the on-prem side of the things, you had something called the snapshots and you had your backups, right? And they're, they're fundamentally different. But if you actually shift your gears and you look at what AWS offers today, they actually offers the ability for you to take snapshots. But actually that's not a backup, right? And they're, they're fundamentally different. So let's talk about it a little bit more, what it means to be snapshots and a backup, right? So let's say there's a bad actor and your account gets compromised, like your AWS account gets compromised. So then the bad actor has access not only to the EBS volumes, but also to the EBS snapshots. What that means is that that person can actually go ahead and delete the EBS volume as well as the EBS snapshots. Now, if you had a backup, let's say you actually take a backup of that EBS volume to Clumio, that bad actor will have access to the EBS volumes. However, it won't be able to delete the backup that we actually have in Clumio. So in the whole thing, the idea of Clumio is that you should be able to protect all of your assets, that being either in on-prem or in AWS, by setting up a single policies. And these are true backups and not just snapshots. And that leads to the last question I have, which is ultimately the ability to introduce these capabilities at scale creates a lot of new opportunities that customers can utilize to do a better job of building applications, but also I presume managing how they use AWS because snapshots and other types of service can expand dramatically, which can increase your cost. How is doing it better with things like native backup services uh, improve a customer's ability to administer their AWS spend and accounts? So, great question. So essentially, if you look at the enterprises today, obviously they have multiple you know, on-premise data centers and also a different cloud providers that they use like AWS and Azure and also a few uh, SaaS applications, right? So then the idea is for Clumio is to create this single platform where all of these things can actually be backed up in a uniform way where you can actually manage all of them. And then the other thing is all doing it in the cloud. So if you think about it, if you don't, solve the problem fundamentally in the cloud, 
there's things that you end up paying later on. So let's take an example, right? Uh, moving bytes, moving bytes in between one server to the other. Traditionally, basically moving bytes from one rack to the other, it was always free. You never had to pay anything for that. Certainly in the data center. Right. But if you actually go to the public cloud, you cannot say the same thing, right? Basically, moving bytes across AWS recent regions is not free anymore. Moving data from AWS to the on-premises, that's not free either. So these are all the things that any you know, uh, cloud provider or service provider like us has to consider and actually solve so that the customers can only back it up into Kumio, but then they actually can leverage different cloud providers in a, in a seamless way without having to worry all of this costs associated with it. So Kumio, we should be able to back it up, but we should be able to also offer mobility in between either AWS, back at VMware, or VMC. So if I can kind of summarize what you just said, that you want to be able to provide to an account, to an enterprise, the ability to not have to worry about the backend infrastructure from a technical and process standpoint, but not also have to worry so much about the backend infrastructure from a cost and financial standpoint. Right. That by providing a service and then administering how that service is optimally handled, the customer doesn't have to think about some of those financial considerations of moving data around in the same way that they used to. Have I got that right? Uh, absolutely, yes. Basically, multiple accounts, multiple regions, multiple providers. It is extremely hard to manage. What Clumio does, it will actually provide you a single pane of glass where you can actually manage them all. But then if you actually think about just the manageability, it's actually, you can actually do that by just building a management layer on top of it. But more importantly, you really need to have a single data you know, repository for you, for us to be able to provide that true mobility in between them. One is about managing, but the other thing is about if you're done, if you're done it the real, the right way, it provides you the ability to move them. And it, it leverages the cloud power so that you don't have to worry about the cloud expenses, but Kumio internally is the one that actually optimizing all of this for our customers. Woon Jung, CTO and co-founder of Kumio, thanks very much for being on theCUBE. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for another CUBE Conversation. I'm Peter Burris, see you next time.